So you killed it in the gym yesterday, yet you wake up today not feeling sore? Welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I'm your host, Jessica Guthrow, and I specialize in helping ladies live lean. This is a very common question I get. Why am I not sore when I work out really hard? As you know by now, we recommend high intensity workouts to help you get lean and stay lean. And the higher the intensity workout, the greater the chance that you are gonna be sore tomorrow. Lately, we've gotten a couple of questions about why a person might not be sore even if their workout was as intense as ever. Does this mean you're not making progress if you don't get sore? In other words, does soreness equal progress? Let's first take a look at what muscle soreness means and what it's all about. When you're working out or doing any sort of physical activity, your muscles are secreting lactic acid. This is a normal byproduct of muscle metabolism and it typically dissipates and goes away within a few hours after your workout. So you can experience muscle soreness for up to two to three days after a workout. This is known as the DOMS. D-O-M-S, delayed onset muscle soreness. And this is due to micro tears that happen within the fibers of your muscles. Now don't be alarmed because this isn't a scary thing. It's not like your muscles are actually tearing apart. It's just little micro tears within the fibers. It's nothing to be alarmed about and it's actually a very healthy and positive part of the growth process. Without tear, there can be no repairs. So the purpose of your workout is to actually create these microfiber tears. But here's the thing. These tears only happen when a greater stress is placed on the muscles than what you have previously experienced. Meaning you have to do something different or at a greater intensity than you've previously done it to cause these muscle tears. That means pushing yourself beyond your current strength or endurance. If you do something a lot, your muscles get used to it and therefore will stop feeling sore even when you're doing the same activity at the same intensity level. So in a nutshell, your body adapts to exercise. After about 10 to 12 weeks on the same workout program, you are no longer expected to feel sore. This doesn't mean that you're not making progress necessarily, but it might mean that you're headed straight for a plateau. Plateaus are completely normal and expected part of fitness. And this is why we're constantly switching up things and giving you guys new programs all the time to make sure that you can overcome those plateaus and keep making progressions all the time. Inside TeamLiveLean.com, we offer a brand new program every four weeks. That's right, we don't even let you go past four weeks without switching up your program. And this allows you to also combat the other problem, which is boredom. You don't wanna get stuck in workout boredom and you certainly don't wanna get a physical plateau either. So we've got plenty of programs to keep you guys busy, to keep you feeling sore week after week and keep throwing new curveballs at you. We also have our premium programs such as Live Lean Afterburn 2.0 and my Formula for Women program. These programs can go up to 12 weeks, but we never write programs that are longer than 12 weeks because that's about the maximum you wanna be doing the same program for. Like I said, you will no longer feel soreness and probably no longer be making any gains. So keep switching up your workout program, keep trying new things, and keep getting sore and enjoy the gains. Join us inside teamlivelean.com if you want to get your hands on some of these brand new workout programs every four weeks, as well as tons of delicious recipes and a great community to keep you going. Thanks so much for watching Live Lean TV for Women. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Have you ruined your metabolism?